Good morning. Glad you could join us for prayer and coffee on this Saturday. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. And my speech and my preaching were not with pers persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not rest, not rest, not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Our faith, our strength, is not built on just our knowledge of the Bible. It's built on our relationship with Jesus Christ. It's built on the power of the Holy Spirit. Our faith is increased and strengthened by the power of God. Psalm 110, verse 3. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power. On the day of God's power, people pray without being asked to pray. On the day of God's power, worship leaders sing with a, an anointing that's fresh and new. On the day of God's power, congregations freely give from the heart. On the day of God's power, people can't wait to meet together in God's house, in the church. On the day of God's power, saints of God devour the Bible hungrily. And on the day of God's power, People even come back to God willingly. Prodigals return. And God's children in local churches begin to see the miraculous. The latest, greatest program can't, uh, can't accomplish, will not accomplish, what the power of God can do. And none of our straining and none of our arguments will accomplish what God's power can do in a moment of time. So, where is God's power? Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. Father, forgive us for our lack of power flowing through us, your power flowing through us into our communities, into our cities, and even into our own families. Father, your word says that you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, through us. Father, help us to understand the working of your mighty power in our lives, power to help, power to bring deliverance, power to drive back this present darkness. Father, release your mighty power in and through your church once again. In local churches with faithful pastors, release the flow of the Holy Spirit in power with healings and signs and wonders confirming your word. Father, let your power through your church draw the lost those hungry for truth, those in great spiritual need, that your house may be full. Father, show them who you are. Jesus, you ministered to the generations while you were here on earth with power and authority. Let your anointing flow through the body of Christ so we may minister to the generations today with power and authority in your name and for your glory. That the name of Christ may be lifted up. And let your awesome presence be released in the body of Christ. Restore our souls. Heal our land. In the name of the one who came to be the light of the world.